Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the second part of the Tyrrell P34 six-wheeler in 120th scale by Tamiya. Started with the floor which was painted silver. This opening here is for the battery should this contain a motor as I explained in the last part of the video. However, obviously mine doesn't so that's all cemented closed. Then a few things here that go onto the firewall. This part here needs to be clipped on really well. And there's a few other pieces. Some of these you could add wires to if you wanted to. I decided not to add super details to the engine. And then the roll cage goes on over the top. I removed some of the chrome from that to help it fix on with the poly cement. That glues onto the floor like so. And then you need the screw. I've got this little uh, magnetic screwdriver, which is very useful. Now, firstly, you need to clip the engine in to the uh, clip at the bottom. There, the screw fell out when I was doing that. So then I uh, fit it in like so. Try to make sure it's as straight as possible. Then there's a few frame pieces which go on. I found that the opening here was too small, so I just used a little one millimeter drill bit to open that up. Be very careful if you're doing anything like this. And some of these frames go in between the exhaust pipes. Pretty happy so far. Now I wanted to use these Tamiya seat belts. These are seat belt set A, which is for 70s and 80s cars. However, the seat as it comes doesn't have any openings for them. So before it was painted or primed or anything, I drilled holes for it. Six holes, two on the shoulders, uh, two around the hips and two for the in between the leg straps. I've then got this micro file with a sort of a slight curve to one side and the other side being flat. And uh, I opened up these holes. This took quite a bit of effort, which obviously a lot of it has been cut out here, but pretty pleased with how it looked in the end. When that was all done, it was then primed and painted just like all the other parts of the bodywork. And there you can see all of the openings. Make sure to clear that up before painting it. The cockpit cowling here is made up of two parts. Made sure to clean up the edges before gluing it together with some uh, extra thin poly cement. Now helpfully, you've also got this bar piece here, which doesn't need to be glued into place, but basically that's to make sure that you're gluing it together at the right angle. Also can be clipped on whilst uh, painting it. Now for the rear wing here, it had a little bit of flash around the edges, so those were removed with some poly cement. The end plates of this may vary depending on which version you're, you're doing. These are the standard end plates for the rear wing. It's quite fiddly, so make sure you test fit before adding the glue. I left a little bit of the sprue on so that it gave me something to hold onto whilst I was painting it later on. Make sure you get all these around the right way. Some clips may be useful to secure this whilst it's curing. Pretty good. Now this part of the bodywork is intact. It's worth doing a little test fit beforehand just so you know where all the pieces go. You may also need to open up some of the holes for some of the uh, bodywork. These replacement decals were from MSM Creations, purchased from modelworks.co.uk. There's a link to them in the description down below. They have provide excellent customer service. The body was all primed in white and then painted in TS15 blue from Tamiya. Then once that had all cured, it was then time to apply the decals. 
chose to start with these yellow ones here as that would then let me line up the other yellow stripe decals on the bodywork then went on to these ones on the side of the seat I went with Jody Schechter as I had done Patrick Depaye's 1977 car and also Schechter was a future world champion and did win a race in this car specifically the 1976 Swedish Grand Prix. Tyrrell used numbers three and four for a very long time under the former uh, F1 numbering rules. That's why the current McLaren lineup remind me a little bit of Tyrrell as they both use three and four. There's a little Goodyear decals. The vast majority of the grid used Goodyear tyres in the 1970s. Some parts of the bodywork here will need to be painted aluminium or black. I'll do that later once this has all been clear coated. Now for the Goodyear decal that goes underneath this large elf decal, sometimes the little winged foot in the middle was present and sometimes, as you can see here, it wasn't. I chose to cut it out as I wasn't happy with it going into the uh, recess on the front arrow and felt that it would go on a lot smoother if I just missed out the centre of the logo. These decals uh, came with the extra decals used in the Japanese Grand Prix of that year. However, the car used in Japan had different rear wing to this set, so I decided to go with the standard decals. This end plate here where I'm adding the Goodyear decals was much longer on the uh, Japan version. It's a good idea to roll a wet cotton bud over it just to remove excess moisture from underneath. And as you can see here, I've got the cowling in place and that means that I can line up the yellow stripes as best as possible. Used a bit of strong UMP decal solution to help them adhere to the curves as best as possible. It's useful that these yellow stripe decals are made up of two parts as it reduces the likelihood of a crease in the corner of the bodywork. More elf decals on the side pods, although these aren't actually side pods for in the uh, sort of modern sense. And then number three again. I left the decals to cure for a couple of days and then gave the body four coats of clear gloss from Halfords. And then when I was happy with that, I then went on to do the seat belts, as you can see here. The adhesive seat belts will need to be cut out and you've got pretty extensive instructions in here. However, I wouldn't be using the ends of the clips as these would be able to go through the holes that I've made. The metal ruler was very useful here to get a nice straight edge down the side. Unfortunately, these aren't pre-cut. It's good to use a nice new craft blade for this kind of job, and I'm using these round-ended tweezers. A little bit of white at the bottom of that, I can cut that out. Fold that through one of the buckles. them being adhesive is that they're more likely to sort of grab hold of the uh, photo etch. So 
there's the shoulder belt and then you've got the little buckle which goes on the end at the thinnest end I'd looked at real examples of the car and they used blue seat belts with the Williams decals so I'll add those later these just slip through until they are the right length and then because I've made those holes I can fold around the other side onto the back of the seats which I've already painted in matte black you can use a little dab of super glue to fit these into place if they don't want to uh, play fair you've got the two that go in between the legs and neither of these have any photo etch on them now for the buckle in the center, that's made of multiple parts. I find it's useful to use a piece of cardboard like this here so that it stands out. I'm also using a wax pencil to position them. I'm putting a little blob of super glue gel into the center and that's gluing it pretty much instantaneously. And there's the final clip. Pretty happy with that. So then we've got the lap belts. I did find it was useful to put down a little bit of super glue for these to stay in place. And then the one with the buckle goes into the other side slightly over the top of the other one pretty happy with that final touch is just to cut out the correct brand for your particular seat belts and fix those in place keep the spare ones as they may be useful for future builds I think that looks pretty good and there we have the finished bodywork this has all been decaled and then clear coated next I'll be putting it all together and here's the cowling clear coated pretty happy with that thanks a lot for watching please do leave a comment down below please do subscribe and I'll see you soon